do my first unboxing here. We'll see how this goes. Uh, this is a bad printout. I'll put a screenshot up instead. Uh, this is for the Elago Super Starter Kit for, with a Uno R3. So obviously it's a, a knockoff of the Arduino R Uno. <laughs> Elago, I think is a brand name. Who knows? But in any case, here it is. It came in a box. And it came in the bag. And let's open the bag and find out. And of course we're going to do this right here on the kitchen counter today. Lack of any other good workspace today. Let's uh, package an envelope here with a sticky uh, closure. But, uh, let's uh, maybe give up on that and see if I'm strong enough to rip right into it anyway. There we go. Get that out of the way. Ooh, fancy. So this was uh, like $31.99 on uh, Amazon.com. And I needed this to, uh, to uh, fix a issue I was having with my control time lapse project. So let's zoom in here a little bit and take a look at this guy. We'll open her up and see what we got. Latches and oh look at that. There we go. All those wonderful parts in there are divided into sections. This is uh, the Uno R3 card. Look at that. That's much smaller than I had anticipated. Uh, you know, looking at it online, I hadn't actually seen one other than what had gone in the 3D printer. And it's in a Sealed or unsealed? I can't tell here. No, it's in a sealed uh, anti-static bag. There's no uh, tear slots on the side here, so we'll grab a pair of scissors. And of course, we should, probably should be working on an anti-static mat, but uh, I don't have one of those uh, conveniently handy at the moment, so we're just going to rip right into it and uh, anti-static or static be damned here. So there it is. It's uh, much smaller than I anticipated. Uh, the knockoff. Let's see what else we have in here. Nice little partitioned box here. Ooh, we get a get my fingers to work here. There's one of the dividers out. Obviously, there's a ooh a nine volt battery for the power. A little uh, DC motor with the wires attached. This is probably a little, let me get back in the screen here, a little stepper motor driver, which is going to be blurry there, of course. I'll take some uh, pictures to uh, add on after this. And uh, I don't know, a little RF, uh, IR receiver, or transmitter board, possibly. This guy comes in a little piece of non-static foam. And uh, what this is, at this point, I'm, I'm actually just not, not sure. So let's zoom out a little bit and see if we can... Nope, it won't focus on that, but we'll work on that later. Seems to have a switch there, very nice. We have uh, a seven segment LCD display. Relay, which is one of the reasons I bought this particular kit. Uh, quad uh, seven segment LCD display. A little uh, trim pot, looks like. 1K trim pot. I don't think that's what they showed in the photo, but I could be wrong. Um, servo motor. Another little card here. Well, I think this is the humidity sensor card. I think it does temperature too. And another little pot in here. I don't think that was quite as pictured either, but we'll take a look. And what have we here? Oh, it looks like a little... Aha! I have no idea. It's a little... Uh, knurled uh, shaft that snaps into something. We'll find out what that does. 
here we have a stack on prototyping card uh, once again no tear point on there so we'll just cut it open with a pair of scissors and take a look a right, little prototyping card that stacks on top and apparently has to be stuck down I see so it's a solder version with a little prototyper uh, that you can stick on top if you wish uh, sorted transistors, uh, photoresistors, diodes uh, right there, An assortment of LEDs and it looks like we have a, a couple of beepers in there, a cap, a couple of transistors in the uh, uh, serial uh, IC and what's back here yeah, I'm sure a very inexpensive uh, prototyping breadboard and here we have some cables ooh a USB cable A to B here is our power supply module yes attaches to the 9 volt battery and plugs in and a bunch of cables seems like there's a good quantity of those there the uh, sonar rangefinder attachment and what the heck is this I have oh this is the little uh, joystick without the cap so there's the cap that goes on top of the little thumb stick. That's pretty cool. We've got a stepper motor. The uh, little display. Didn't look at the details on that. We'll have a look at that later. It must be a IR receiver in the kit because there's a little IR transmitter remote control code male to female cables that uh, can be separated apart and a pack of resistors woohoo so there we are a lot of the stuff I won't intend to use but it'll be inter at this moment but it will be interesting to use later we have our disc here and the listing of uh, the parts on top here. I guess that's just it. Nothing else inside. Description of the parts. I'll take a photo of that. And let's see. Looks like there might be data on this one. I wrote, read some complaints on uh, Amazon.com uh, that uh, they received a blank disk. So we'll see if we can read this on a Mac. All right. We'll move over to the Mac here and see what we have on the disk. Hi, so we're back at the computer here and I started printing a, uh, a case uh, uh, for the Arduino Uno card to keep uh, the bottom from shorting out on anything that I happen to touch it to. And we put the CD in the, the Mac here and it actually opens up and there's a lot of bunch of stuff on there. There's a lot of stuff on here. And there's a lot of stuff on here, including some of the other kits they sell. They put it all on one CD, which uh, I don't blame them. They only have one version to burn that way. And you can always take a look at some of the other stuff out here, too, and uh, see what's going on. <clears throat> so here's the one that I purchased, the Super Starter Kit. And if you take a look in here, they've got code for many of the lessons. Uh, they've got some libraries. And they have the... Uh, the PDF file to uh, lead you through that. And that's what I have open here. And let's take a quick look at things. So I start off with uh, their, uh, their front page here and they've got uh, uh, descriptions of all the parts that are in the box and uh, including the uh, uh, breadboard power supply module which I had no idea what that was when we viewed it on camera but I've done a little bit, little bit more study now and uh, that's for uh, attaching to your breadboard and uh, uh, applying power so you can uh, power your breadboard from that without uh, very conveniently and there's a I actually found a video on that online here I'll put a link in the bottom that uh, talks about that so that'll plug right into your breadboard here and um, apply power to the power strips on the breadboard which is really cool
and that's this guy right right there under the red dot so thanks uh, I'll put some more stuff up as I uh, work with this a little bit and uh, thank you very much for watching my first unboxing video hopefully there'll be more and uh, hopefully bigger and better things to unbox too in the future thank you for watching